the real me one. No, you didn't hear me wrong. It's not a red me, but a real me. Well, who are they and what is the real me one all about? Let's find out as we unbox the real me one. And I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this new entrant into the Indian smartphone market. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech. And before we begin, here's a card to our latest giveaway. I'll also be leaving a link in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that bell icon to become part of the C4 Retech notification squad. The Realme One comes in a very familiar bright red box with branding to the top as well as the sides. Peeling the plastic off, let's now take a look inside. First up, we have some cardboard with the SIM ejector tool inside. Then we have some documentation. Realme has also thrown in a transparent soft case. Nice. Let's put those aside and have a look at the phone itself. Peeling the plastic off, turning it around. Wow, that back looks gorgeous. The diamond pattern to the back looks beautiful as it catches the light. Let's now put the case on and keep it aside. What else do we have inside the box? There's a 5 volt 2 amp wall adapter and a white micro USB cable, no type C. Turning the phone around, we have the diamond black pattern to the back. The way it shimmers and reflects light is quite beautiful. And for once, I don't really mind the glossy finish. Coming to the placements, we have a single rear camera and flash to the top. A bit further down, we have some Realme branding. And at the very bottom, there is some Oppo branding too. The rest is left clean for, well, the design to shine through. The top of the device is left clean too. And to the right, we have the power button as well as the SIM tray. Now this one can take two SIM cards as well as a micro SD card. The left houses the volume buttons. At the bottom, we've got the speaker grill, micro USB port, primary microphone, and the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. To the front, we have a six inch full HD plus display. The tall display combined with the lightweight, yeah, this one weighs in at just 158 grams, means it feels quite nice in hand. The glossy bag does pick up fingerprints and smudges, so I'm gonna be leaving the soft case on during our testing. Realme has managed to nail the design on this one, but what about the internals? Well, the Realme One is powered by the MediaTek Helio P60. If that sounds familiar, it's because this is a beast of a chip that we've tested before on the Oppo F7. And going by that, it should be a solid performer. We also get six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage. A 332 variant will be available once the Realme One goes on sale. And of course, if you think you need some more storage, that's the dedicated micro SD card slot we saw. Coming to the battery front, we have a 3410 mAh battery powering this guy. The 12 nanometer manufacturing process and AI battery optimizations done by Realme should result in some decent battery life. Speaking of AI, let's talk software. The Realme One runs on ColorOS 5.0, which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo. As far as custom skins go, ColorOS is one that comes packed with a ton of features. From cloning apps to screen off gestures, there are plenty of nifty little tricks that the Realme One has up its sleeve. We also have a face unlock feature that the company claims is AI powered. And since this phone actually comes without a fingerprint sensor, a brand actually managed to do it in 2018. I mean, a brand other than LG have done it. It's kind of sad, but yeah, it is what it is. So we do hope this face unlock can make up for the lack of a fingerprint scanner and both speed and accuracy. We'll have more to say about it in our full review. Anyway, let's move on to another aspect of this phone that comes with a heavy helping of AI. The cameras, to the back we have a 13 megapixel snapper, while the front selfie shooter is an eight megapixel unit. Here are a few sample shots that we quickly took. Tell us in the comments below, what do you think about these cameras? I've seen it in the comments quite a few times. Why do you ask us to talk about the cameras? Aren't you supposed to be telling us about the cameras? Just the unboxing, these are just initial shots. I don't wanna make half guesses here. So this is what it is. You tell us what you think, and I'll tell you what I think in the review. As far as software goes, there is an inbuilt pro mode, AR stickers, and Opa is also included in AI powered beauty mode for selfies. The company claims that its AI shot technology can identify 296 beauty points and adapt the beauty mode to best suit everyone's unique facial features. With all that said, let's get to the price. The price is. I don't know the price. While filming this video, we have no idea 
of what the pricing is gonna be. The brand says they're gonna be very aggressive, uh, aggressive enough to compete with the Redmi Note 5, not the Note 5 Pro, with the Note 5. So I'm guessing it should be around 10, 11,000. Uh, if it comes in at under 10,000 rupees for the base variant, then it could be an alternative to the Redmi Note 5 or even the Zenfone Max Pro. Yes, the fact that it doesn't support a fingerprint scanner is a major con, but the Helio P60 chip is in fact more powerful than the Snapdragon 636. So that might mean if the face unlock works well enough, it might make it a decent offering. But if it, and of course, if they didn't have less sales, that would be a huge pro. But if it is priced closer to say the Redmi Note 5 Pro, you know, 13, 14,000 rupees closer to the Note 5 Pro, well then I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Uh, again, that's what I think. I'm gonna test it and get back to you. By the way, if you haven't already put two and two together, thanks to that Oppo branding and the fact that this runs on ColorOS, Realme is an Oppo sub-brand, kind of like what Honor is to Huawei. And they hope to be very aggressive and disrupt brands like Xiaomi. So what do you think about the Realme and the Realme 1? Let us know in the comments down below. If you hated this video, well, you know what to do. But if you did like this video, drop us a like, subscribe to C4E Tech. Also click that bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Enough, it's time I bid you adieu. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.